Hey everyone, I'm back in my attic and today I am fixing a very cool thing. Check this out. So this was given to me by a colleague and her son really loves this so they really wanted to get this back in working order but the they told me the power supply was broken. I've been having a look at this and I can see here in the bottom it tells me it needs uh, 12 volt AC 50 Hertz so that could be a challenge 12 volts DC that's pretty easy to find but 12 volts AC not so much but uh, we'll see what we can do so let's open this up and see whether or not we have a working light bulb okay so that was easy so the light bulb seems fine this is 12 volts 20 watts I'm actually not sure that this is correct pretty sure this works with 12 volts DC as well let's see what we can do so I was digging through my stuff and I found a white power supply this one is rated for 12 volts 1.5 amps would have loved to have 2 amps so we've got two prongs here this is a connector for a 12 volt power supply that I got out of an old switch so what I'm going to try to do is just plug this in so now we should have 12 volts between these two hold it against the prongs and at least see whether or not the device still works so let's quickly test we should have five, uh, 12 volts here we do not so 12 volts going into this this should be a relatively easy fix when we make a connection we've got a light and this is 12 volts so 12 volt DC so can we make this nice can we maybe open up this connector and then splice this cable into this one that's gonna make it look much nicer than if we need to worst case we could also just run okay so this is pressure fit you can see pretty easy replacement so they're running a wire and are disconnecting one of the two wires here yeah we can definitely work with that let me take you guys up there so you can see what I'm doing as you can see one wire goes in and all the way through that's the blue one and then one wire gets disconnected or turned on and off with the switch so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this wire the blue one and desolder the brown one which will allow us to put in our I don't know if you guys can see that I might want to reuse this here so I'm gonna cut a bit farther down so that means that I can still use this plug if I want to so we're gonna go for 10 centimeters and cut here so that's gonna leave us with two wires I'm just gonna make a small cut in the middle and then they should pull apart in the middle like so now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna cut off the part that I just cut into to open them up because there's a risk that I've damaged the wires somehow so now I have two wires just gonna strip them for like a centimeter like so so we've now got a full white cable and we've got a dashed cable so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this cable it's plugged in so there is 12 volts coming out of this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one end of my probe on one end and the other end on the other 
So this gives me 12 volts, a little bit over 12 volts. So I have the red one on the cable with the dashes. So now I know for sure that this is positive, this is ground. If I would have had my prongs the other way around, I would have had a negative voltage, like so. So that's how you know which one's positive. If you have a positive value when you have the red prong. So I just grabbed some shrink tubing, one red, one black. So I know which one's positive, which one's negative. So like you see now, so this helps me identify which one's positive, which one's negative, but it also helps me because it's a uh, shrink tubing. Uh, after I make my soldering or I, if I make my connections, I can just pull this over, heat it up a little bit, and it's clear and isolated. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of solder to the, uh, to the ends here. So a quick test to see whether or not if I make the connections like this, it's gonna work. Very clearly it is. If I hold the leads together, I can turn it on and off. So this is gonna work. Like so. Then I'm also Close this back up, like so. 10 watts, it's, it heats up, huh? Let me take you guys back there so that you can see the final result. So we got it back in. What's his name actually? What's the name in Dwarf? It's Dwarf? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? In Dutch it's called a kabouter. Let's take a look at that. So as you can see, my wife doesn't like me keeping all of the electronics uh, at home. I've got a lot of stuff, I have to admit. But as you can see, this one, this cable came from an old switch, I think. Has been broken for years. Cable, 12 volts, 1.5 amps. Still works perfectly. My colleagues, Kabouter or Dwarf is fixed so I hope she'll be happy. Please like and subscribe and see you next time.